Hey guys, welcome to our channel Codazake. So I've been working on a program for our next topic, which is preprocessor directives in C. And uh, this is a micro program. So here I'm using a micro. And uh, now I've completed this code. So after this, I was about to execute the code. And I thought, why we are doing uh, GCC, GCC all the time. So to run this code, first I will write GCC, then the name of my file, which is sum.c. And once I click enter, now this will create a executable file, which is a.exe. So I will write here again, dot slash a.exe, right? Or I can write here a and press tab. So it will automatically write dot slash a.exe, right? So once we do this, after this only, we are getting a sum. So we are doing two steps here in this case. So I thought why we should do all these two steps again and again when we have a shortcut. So I thought let's make a video onto it. So let's see how I can use a shortcut and how we can eliminate these two terms while using our terminal. Actually, we won't be using the terminal for this. Let's see how. So this is my code, right? So to run this, I have to write GCC and then a dot slash a dot exe, right? So instead of doing this, I will go into my extensions. All right. In my extensions, I will search for code runner. So this is code runner, this first one. If I click onto this, you can see this is code runner by Jun Han. So I have to install this. So you guys also have to install this if you don't want to write uh, these two steps again and again. So I will install this and it's installed. And now I will go back to my sum. And if I right click here, you can see that it says run code. Before that, it was not saying run code. So if I disable it and if I right click right here, but first of all, let's restart it. I will reload my VS code and uh, I've already disabled that. And uh, if I right click now here, you cannot see any run option, right? So I will go back to code runner and I will enable it. So it's enabled now and I will go back to my sum.c and if I right click now, you can see that run code option is available. So instead of writing, if instead of going into my terminal and writing gcc sum.c and dot slash a dot exe, instead of that, I can just right click onto my editing area and then I can just directly click onto run code. So you can see in the output window, we got sum equals to sum value is 30, which is our correct answer and our code is executed well. So one more thing that you need to keep in mind while using code runner is you might get an error called undefined reference to Ming W16. So that is the problem that you may find when you install code runner for the first time. So I will tell you in advance how to solve that problem. You have to go back to your code runner extension and then you need to click onto this gear icon right here settings icon or gear icon, then you need to go to extension settings. And here you need to scroll down. And you need to find these two options. Code runner save all files before run. And this also save files before run. So I will just tick both of these. And you don't have to uh, save it, you just close the settings. And it's already saved. It's automatically saved. So you don't have to worry about that. Now I will just close that and I can just run my code again and you can see some value is 30. So by this shortcut, by using this method, using code runner extension in VS code, we can eliminate writing GS, GCC sum.c or whatever your file name is. My main point is, you can just skip GCC and dot uh, a dot exe and you can just directly right click onto your main editor and then you can just press run code and there you go. So 
instead of writing two lines repetitively, we are using one very handy VS Code extension, which will help us to execute our programs easily by right clicking and then clicking once like this. So this is all for today, guys. We successfully executed this program and thanks for watching. And before ending this video, please like, share and subscribe to our channel because there are so many of you guys who are watching our videos without subscribing our channel. So I request you people to please like, share and subscribe to our channel. And also don't forget to press the bell icon so that you won't miss any future updates. Also, don't forget to follow us on our social media. So I will give all the social media links in the description below. Connect us on our social media. We will be very happy to meet you there. So thanks for watching again. This is all for today, guys. Happy learning.